Hello everybody, it's Josh and Joe here. Today we're going to be trying some various candies. Uh, we like to eat candy. If you look back through some of our uh, previous videos, we have candy videos. Why? Because we like candy. Pretty simple. Um, but found a few different ones that uh, were from my childhood and a couple new ones here. So um, some of them are just nostalgic and, you know, as an adult, I look at some of these things when they're registered at the uh, convenience store or big box store. And usually don't pick them up, but uh, I want to see, you know, a lot of these things will invoke some uh, memories of the past. So we're going to give it a shot here. You ready? Where do you want to start on this? Uh, let's start off uh, pretty safe. Cats claw on the wall. Yeah. You want some dark chocolate? No. <laughs> Didn't say that. <laughs> All right, uh, we want to start. I don't know. Do you want to start with the the new Reese one? Yeah, get actually, that out there. Yeah, let's do that. I see, Reese. I see ads for this all the time. Reese's with pretzel. Big isn't, it, isn't the thing for Reese's like Reese's? Not sorry. I feel like I see that so much. Where's yours? Mine has like a. Looks like you got something set on the top of it. Cat. That's right. I'm gonna break mine in half. Oh, no. It's a little pretzel in there. Right here, I see it. That's it. <laughs> I'm gonna eat the smaller piece. I'm gonna take a big old bite out of here. There's a couple big lumps in this one, so it might be pretty good. Yeah. Kind of crumbled. Crumbly, I got the pretzel pieces in this. Did you get yours? Mm hmm. It looks like uh, peanuts, but they're actually uh, pieces of pretzel. See, I like Reese's, like cups, but I don't know. Mm. I feel like it's almost too big. Mm -hmm. I can see that. Like, there's, especially because there's two in them. Let's say if you bought this for like a lunch, there's no way you're eating both of those. If they Half were, of one's good. But they were the normal Oreo size with a little bit smaller pretzels in them. They'd be a little bit easier mm -hmm. to eat. No, those, uh, Hershey makes them, so I don't know why they don't do it. The little pretzel balls called the, I remember they had the little, like, Reese cups, the pretzel, and the little chocolate bars and mm -hmm. all. If they just took the little pretzel balls, you know, about that big, and slapped them inside of a normal Reese cup, it'd be, it'd be even better. It'd just be, uh, it'd be a lot easier to eat. And I mean, the flavor isn't bad. Oh, the flavor is good. It's just it's a little, little convenient. It breaks up pretty good. It crumbles. You make a mess. That would be good on a peanut butter mayonnaise and pickle sandwich. Maybe, <laughs> but like, I feel like they could do that. Like the little just little mm -hmm. thing, just put it in the, the normal size Reese cup. So you get a ton of pretzel and a little bit of peanut butter because peanut butter goes a long way. Yeah, that's a little bit hard to eat just because it's it breaks up pretty bad. I mean, it tastes good, but it's. Crumbly. Yeah. I, I would if I was going to compare that to a normal Reese cup, I'm picking the normal Reese cup every time. Yeah. Until they're gone. Yeah, until they're gone. <laughs> Still. Sad. Sad. A little sad. Mm. All right. Let's, let's do a, let's, what's a Zagnut. Zagnut. This is going to blow your mind. <laughs> oh, why do I... Re I think I remember this. No, that's not a... It looks like a uh, Butterfinger, but it's... It's like the inside of a Butterfinger. Segment. Not a, not a clean food. I can already. I already don't like this that much. The, I, the inside is like a uh, butterfinger. Butterfinger. I think I've had these. Something about the inside and like this texture. I feel like I've it's, had. It's a coconut on the outside. Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. Okay. It kind of reminds you of those little chick stick things. It reminds me of an almond joy with a, with a. You call it. A butterfinger inside. Yeah, I am. Uh, let's see. I've had this. Now the key with these is not to chew them so much. Bite them, put a little pressure, and slide the layers apart. There you go. There you go. That's why I'm not doing it. I'm just choke. Mm. That's good. Mm. Why is everything so messy? I actually don't mind that. That's a good flavor. That's a really good flavor. <coughs> <coughs> Woo. 
if mom was here, she would, I already know what she would say. I don't like the coconut. Because mom doesn't like coconut. <laughs> wow. We'll sweep it later. <laughs> I'll have one too. Mountain Dew. Awesome. Pepsi Zero. If I can have him put the cat back on. Woo! That's a little better. Alright. So, where do you want to go next? Do you want to stick with the chocolate or do you want to. I'm just going to go down the line. Okay. What is. Ooze tube. Oh, that's an S. I thought it was a oog oogie tube. <laughs> I think it's a Z. Oh, that makes sense now. It doesn't. It looks <laughs> weird. It looks like a G. Yeah. The only reason I knew it was ooze was the uh, small part below one, though. Tube. You can't do the last forever because you can't open it. Woo! Want to do the red one too? Yeah, I'm gonna... <laughs> Doesn't tell me there's a thing on it. I don't think there is. I'm going to check it anyway. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> I was looking at it and I'm like, oh, it's a... Uh... They're super safe. Uh, we should have prepared. <laughs> well, I thought one uh, safety uh, device was enough. Was, yeah. How bad is this ooze that they have to put two layers on? Or how good is it they got to protect it from people? I don't know, but just looking at this, my teeth right here, I just went, you shouldn't do it. <laughs> well, do you want to try red cherry or both? Put your finger out. Just squirt some on your finger. Your finger? Which, which finger? Ew, not that finger. This, that finger is gross. <laughs> Peanut butter. <laughs> My entire finger. It's like a spider web. It's kind of what you'd expect a gooey. Yeah, it's not good. All right. Gooey sour. Oh, that's making my jaw hurt. Like the one Open key. Open up. I'm not. Mm. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> oh, my cheeks. Did you get the layer of protection? <laughs> Is it <a> child proof? <laughs> Well, I'll be. <laughs> I guess I'll be taking it that way. You ruined it. It's all sticky now. Mm. Tastes like cherry toothpaste. I don't believe you. I feel like it's going to be sour again. Oh, it does taste like toothpaste. Oh. <laughs> Tastes like cherry gel toothpaste. Oh. Um. Tastes like toothpaste, but the consistency is like the the deodorant that has like the liquid that comes out. That's what that's what the consistency is. The yeah. Woo. What was that one candy that made our made my cheeks hurt? Oh, like right here. Oh, that really sour. Yeah. Like, what was that? Was that the was that the that Israel was a sour rate? ball from uh, Israel snack rate? Was that that? No, that was. I thought it was a snack rate. I thought it was from that uh, one you got me, the... Uh... Oh, it might have been. I don't know, man, but... We eat a lot of candy. Whatever the whatever that video was. Oh, my God, that hurt. <laughs> it hurt. These I hardly... I haven't had ate these in 30 plus years. They're peanut shoes. Um, yeah. 
Been around for... Oh, yeah, she has peanuts in them. 100 since, well, since 1917, peanut chews. You say 100 years. Yeah. <laughs> there actually, there actually, 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 really, there is real peanuts in them. Yeah, it's peanuts and uh, dark chocolate. Really hard to chew. They're oh. encasing like a toffee caramel. I don't like that. I remember, um, you remember at, uh, Pops, you would, uh, there would be, mm. behind the door to go outside, there was a bucket of peanuts that you'd take out to the squirrels and put under the tree, right? Mm -hmm. I used to go over there and I used to take a handful and just peel them and eat them. <laughs> That's what that reminds me of. Yeah. These were, uh... That are Philadelphia favorite since 1917. These chewy, chocolatey bites. Uh, Philly, what are you doing? Those are uh, not They good. were originally served in World War II as a ration bar. I'm so sorry for the troops. Uh, World War II. Uh, how many? Eh, there can't be that many World War II. Like, that's left. Really? I don't, I don't think well, there is. I can see that. Oh, yeah, I can see definitely see it as like a ration bar with protein and stuff. I can see that. Mm. I don't think there's a lot of veterans left from World War II. Mm. Is anybody that ago. are out there, thank you for your service. I don't think... Mm, yeah, thanks, but I don't I don't think there's a lot of World War II vets left. Mm. This one here is my namesake. It's got me described. The Chunky Bar. That's right, the Chunky Bar. <laughs> the Chunkster. You ever had a Chunky Bar, Josh? No. <laughs> Well, you might not nah. get to. <laughs> ah, it's milk chocolate with peanuts and raisins. And it's really hard to break. So far, all these candies have not been good. <laughs> yeah, and all the, well, the Reese's was okay. It crumbled too much like this. <laughs> the, uh, I did like the, uh, Zagnut. Yeah, Zagnut was good. Mmm. That's the same as I remember as a kid. Yeah, but like, I mean, it tastes good. But why don't you just buy like a almond Hershey bar? They do the same thing with more almonds and nuts. Well, this was, uh, I got the, the raisins in it. Mmm. I really don't mind that. It's not bad, but I would just buy a Hershey bar. Mmm. <laughs> Yeah, looks all right. Mm. All right, cow tails, cow tail tasting. Welcome to the new video. Mm. More of the same, but different. Cow tails. Every kid uh, going to a baseball game, soccer game, any place that sold uh, concessions always wound up with a couple of these in every game because they were a quarter or less each. Mm. They would be for a quarter and you'd sell them for a dollar and a half. <laughs> mm. But I haven't had these in forever. When I say forever, I mean forever. It's been, it's been too long. But I have not had these in a long time. Uh, you want to break yourself off some? <laughs> some dogs. Woof, woof. Oh, uh, I always liked these. It was a kid with the caramel and that. What was the one candy that was just a caramel circle with the powder inside? No, the ones that are like these, only that are... Yeah, round, but they had a lot of powder in them. Those are the Goetz ones. Because I used to eat the powder and... <laughs> yeah. That's what I used to do with these. I just bite off the side and then... Grandma Betty used to have them yeah, yeah, thing, yeah. and you could go in there and you could unwrap them and suck the stuff right out of them. You'd get all the good, like, cream out, and then you'd just throw away the caramel, or just eat mm. it slower. Hmm. That's childhood, folks. Hmm. Mm. That brings back a lot of memories. <laughs> me sitting in the, me playing baseball, sitting in the dugout, because I wasn't good enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, it takes me back to playing baseball too. Sitting at the old Tioga ball fields, uh, with Mikey and Michelle hoteling, and their grandma out running the concession stand. Mm. All the good folks down there. Hmm. That's good. That's nostalgic. 
Now we got past nostalgia. Let's get into some of the flavors. Yeah. Strawberry, folks. Yeah, that's right. Wait. Strawberry. Is that strawberry? Strawberry smoothie. I'm sorry, because that's strawberry. We have strawberry and strawberry smoothie. There better be a difference. Let's hope. <laughs> I haven't had any of these. I might have had strawberry, but not smoothie. I'm gonna get your piece. I'm gonna open this up and see how close they are in color together. Did they click bait us? Mm, kinda. <laughs> uh, that one's a little, that one's brighter. That one's brighter. All right. Let's mm. give the smoothie a try. It's got that good fruity smell to it. Mmm. A little sour. It reminds me of fruit leather. A little sour. I don't know what was sour about it, but it was a little sour. I do not do good with sour. Mm. I'm better with spicy than sour. That's shocking. <laughs> yeah, that's not my favorite. Let's try, let's try the normal strawberry. Let's see how good that can be. Smoothie wasn't so smooth. It feels like the smoothie was almost like a strawberry with watered down. So I'm hoping the normal strawberry itself would be good. <laughs> Way to go, SpongeBob. <laughs> uh, I'm ready. I love SpongeBob. Such a good show. Mmm. It smells good. It's a little bit of strawberry flavor. Mm -hmm. I think I've had this before. Not good though. No, the original is still my favorite. It reminds me of strawberry mixed with that. Um, the Romeo. Romeo. No, the aroma you get when you walk into a misty, misty basement. Hmm. Yeah. It could just be us. <laughs> could be me. Uh, I might be bolting from the inside out. Who knows? Probably. All right. Let's do... Uh... Oh, that's it. So that was out since yesterday that I just grabbed again. We just come off the disc table and go into the trash. All right. You want strawberry? Yeah, strawberry. Apple or um, chocolate? It's chocolate. Let's end off on a... Uh... Caramel apple. Yeah, the original so far is my favorite. Yeah. Just so nostalgic and classic. Yeah, I know you can't just beat it. It's just... Ugh. Okay, so it looks like it's chocolate. It's like, it's, like a dark, it's like a dark chocolate with a chocolate... Filling inside. Yeah, I was gonna say, why is it ripping with a half down the middle? Chocolate on chocolate. And definitely taste the browniness. Mm -hmm. It's actually not bad. Um, that's probably my second favorite. It is what it says it is. It's brownie mm -hmm. flavored. Yeah, it's special. Well, it's special. But for kids, it'd be. They probably eat it for the thirty cents they are today. So, if they don't, if you're only out thirty cents and not a dollar fifty nine for a small candy bar now. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So far, I would say it was normal, then chocolate or brownie, and then probably the smoothie, then strawberry. I'd agree. I don't know, man. The strawberry one was kind of disappointing. I want to see them do a blueberry one. I feel like blueberry would be a cool flavor. Maybe like a blueberry pie or something like that. Like the outside could be like kind of like the same color as this, but on the inside could be all blue. Nah, kind of like this. I'm not going to knock this. This looks really cool with the uh, the pink filling down the middle of it. The contrast and colors. Good flavor. Mm -hmm. That's caramel apple. All right, the strawberry ones are getting moved. The chocolate's getting moved. Well, I was just saying, that's about where I'm at right there. <laughs> the caramel level is good, folks. So the, our opinion on the cocktails, original, then caramel apple, then brownie, then the smoothie, then strawberry. 
honestly, don't go past the first two. Unless you have chocolate on your mind, but I wouldn't bother getting the strawberries. They're just too just artificial. Get two weird. of the regular ones are going to satisfy you more. Get mm. one original and get one candy apple and one chocolate. Don't even look at these two. They're gone. That's these three. Right here, yeah. That's the money. The money. Woo! But anyways, we had fun. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Eat lots of candy and like, subscribe down here and here and everywhere. Share this out to the world. Have a great day, folks.